so the work that I'm going to present here today uh, summarizes the, the research that we have been doing in Mauritania about the land mammals, in particularly the, the land mammals. So uh, very fast, how do I pass this? Okay, I can pass like this. Um, uh, Mauritania covers about 1 million square kilometers. Uh, uh, it's located in the transition zone between the Sahara and Sahel, and as expected, most of the area is covered by sand dunes and gravel and sand uh, floodplains. Uh, uh, it's, it's amazing, but only 1%, amazing on the negative side, uh, uh, only about 1% of the land uh, uh, mass of the country is protected. Only two uh, national parks have been designated and discovered uh, less than 1% of the country. So what, which objectives we had? We wanted to understand how many um, extant species occurred in the country, how many extinctions have occurred, at least since the year um, uh, 1900, how many, um, how are mammals specially distributed, how is uh, species richness also distributed, how many threatened mammals can we identify in Mauritania, and uh, is the current mammal uh, species richness represented, well represented in the current network of protected areas. So essentially, we've completed 20 field expeditions between 2002 and 21, uh, over 500 work days, uh, over uh, 80,000 um, um, kilometers covered. This allows us to uh, collect many observations, uh, some through camera trapping, some were uh, subjected to molecular identification. A lot of uh, uh, samples came from roadkill, and we also collected uh, observations available in bibliography. Summing all these observations and removing the duplicated ones, we ended up with 6,718 individual observations. These were mapped over uh, UTM uh, grid cells of 100 kilometer side, and we um, applied the red list criteria at the national level to retrieve the extinction risk of land mammals in Mauritania. Uh, passing very rapidly to the results, <clears throat> uh, first of all, there is, there, are, there is a huge spatial bias in terms of sampling efforts. This map shows us the distribution of number of observations, absolute number of observations of mammals in each of the 100 by 100 kilometer grid cell sizes, uh, grid cell size, and uh, we can see that there are uh, biases towards the coastal areas, towards protected areas, towards the Adraratar, and some partial areas in the Taga and Asaba plateaus. Um, uh, about 30% of the country remains unsampled or without a single mammal uh, observation. Well, with this, with this uh, uh, in mind, the results we obtained were uh, that the land mammals of Mauritania currently comprise 107 species. These include 93 extant species, including also four of uncertain uh, taxonomic status and two introduced species. 12 uh, are, gone, um, are now regionally extinct and two are extinct in the wild, the oryx and the giraffe, which now um, um, display captive populations in the new uh, protected area, the Avleigat National Park. In terms of distribution, and for the 93 extant species, we identified broadly three groups of species. 11 that presently uh, are not considered to occur in Mauritania that were reported here. This is the case of the hippopotamus uh, in the Senegal River and the leopard, uh, with two observations uh, that I will discuss later on uh, in the discussion of this presentation. Uh, um, 38 species were reported with larger ranges, uh, larger ranges in comparison to what is currently known. So it's, for instance, the example of the caracal also present in the Southern Mountains or the civet, again, also present in the Southern Mountains and this was not known before. Uh, uh, three species at their range, much um, better well-defined presently in relation to what was uh, uh, known. This is the case of the fennec with a distribution very well defined into, in, the, in the sandy areas or the rock irex occurring exclusively in the rocky areas. Uh, for, from the 93 extant species, we identified one endemic, where Praomish CF Daltoni, which means that the, the, the taxonomic status of this species is pending um, final determination, and two nearly endemic, the Flavia Vae and Tertarilus Traineri, uh, which occur also in neighboring uh, Mali. In terms of species richness, of course, most of the species richness 
is located in the Senegal River Valley and the Mountain Plateaus. But as, as I've mentioned this before, this partial reflects the sampling effort by this. In terms of conservation, from the 90 extant species that were accessed, uh, 10 were considered uh, threatened, which represents about 11% of the land mammals. The Arteodactyla, it's the order containing most, uh, uh, um, where, where species, species of this order are the most threatened, 83% of the Arteodactyla classify as threatened. And uh, um, I would call your attention for 21 species, 23% of the land mammals of Mauritania classifying as data deficient, and I will discuss this later. Um, the distribution of these threatened species shows that there is a high concentration along the Senegal River and the lower uh, intensity in mountain plateaus. Um, there is a very poor representation of, of the accumulations of species richness in the current protected areas. And the important protected, uh, protection gaps are located in the uh, mid-upper Senegal River Valley and in mountain plateaus. In terms of discussion, uh, so our work updated the, the, land, the list of land mammals of Mauritania, uh, 93 extant species, and this represents an increase by 12 species in comparison to uh, IUCN red list. Most or uh, uh, more than 50% of these new species are small-sized Chiroptera and Rodentia, which suggests that further species may be uh, detected in the future in the country. There are a series of systematic uncertainties and, and uh, poor distribution knowledge in various species. And this is translated into 23% uh, of the extended uh, species being classified as data deficient. This is almost the double of the mammals at global level, which uh, only 14% of the, of the mammals at the global level classify as DD. Uh, so this, this shows us that we need further studies uh, to access the taxonomic status. And, and for this, we need a comprehensive barcoding assessment of mammal diversity in the country. In terms of distribution, about 30% of Mauritania remains completely unsampled. And these areas, uh, um, some of them at least contain uh, critically endangered mammals. This is the case of the Adax nasomoculatus, which uh, uh, it's presumably still occurring in the remote Warren sand, uh, sand dunes. Um, um, a, a very light um, field um, uh, effort in the region in 2019 allowed us to detect a series of skulls, but, but no individuals are observed, neither, neither footprints or, or, or evidences of these individuals. Uh, but still, still dedicated field surveys are needed. In the case of Leopard, there is one observation from 2009 of an elusive uh, of, of individual in the Bank d'Argan National Park, and then a positive inquiry uh, in the extreme southern Afole Plateau. Uh, I was the one who did the inquiry, and this person identified uh, in a very convict way uh, uh, the, the, the Leopard in the region. Potentially, it could be still occurring, but, but uh, field surveys are needed. Sorry. In terms of conservation, 11% of Mauritanian mammals classify as regionally extinct or extinct in the wild, and this is 10 times larger than the global mammals, which only 1.4% of global mammals classify as regionally extinct or, or extinct in the wild. So this shows that in Mauritania there is a high rate of, of extinction in the country and at a fast pace. The Avlegat National Park indeed has the potential to, uh, to have a leading role in regional ex situ conservation, supporting the reintroduction of native ungulates. Uh, we need population service for the 10 threatened mammals in mountain populations, uh, in mountain plateaus and several escarpments, the Senegal River, and in bordering areas of the country. And we need to increase the number of protected areas in the country. This can be done easily by a system of micro reserves through the rehabilitation of formal. Uh, classified forests along the Senegal River uh, Valley or the protection of mountain rock pools and drainage systems in the, in the mountains. Uh, finally, I want to say that uh, the, the, the landscapes where this mammal diversity occurs are, are being challenged by many, many factors, including climate change, land degradation, uh, human growth. And, and so the, the long-term conservation of these species is embedded in the complex web of constraints constraining socioeconomic and climatic factors. I hope that these, the data that we present here and that uh, is being currently submitted to an, a scientific journal will provide the baseline to address these challenges in the future. Uh, I want to finish uh, just by acknowledging the, the, the help uh, the, 
that several institutions in Mauritania provided along the year, as well as many uh, um, researchers who provide uh, uh, observations. And finally, the, the, the research institutions that have funded our work throughout the, the time. Thank you very much.